Brown's about as good as anybody getting in the lane, making plays, making shots. He's a really good player. And so extending. Brown gets inside of it, floats it up. Oh man, that's a terrific shot. See how you right now on a 7-0 run. He has scored from every spot on the floor already. He's playing with a chip on his shoulder. He is playing with a chip on his shoulder. You see my guy. So I think everything I go through, I can get through. Because it's meant for me. I ain't never buried off and did something that's not me. I always stand in my lane and do my own thing. So I'm here early in the morning with him. Work out by myself. Watching, you know, people from the inner city, you know, play basketball, Tony Rowan. High school had Jim Soda, Jamal Crawford, Brennan Roy, Nate Robinson, Will Conroy, Trey Simmons, Jason Terry, Aaron Brooke. Like it is so much of a rich culture. So that, that was you know dope for me to see. And you know my family went to Garfield, so it was like a tradition for me to go to Garfield. There was one practice I'll never forget. <laughs> Coach Haskins said, "Whoever makes this 16 to top five gets a start." Man, I ran so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I made the top five, and I started my first varsity game, freaking Roosevelt. It was like a Friday night game, so you know it was like packed out. Boy, it was nervous. I ain't gonna lie, but I felt like I belonged. So. High school, I won two state championships, no D1 offers. I had a D2 offer. And you remember we were talking, I was surprised. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean you ain't got no offers? And um, after that, I ended up going to Shoreline. And they gave me a full scholarship. And they can only get full, one full scholarship. But I ended up going to Shoreline. And um, I think my first game, I had like 51 or 52 points. Because remember at the Tony Roten camp, mm -hmm. I'm seeing, I'm like, damn, you're one of the best guards here by far. And we got the top ranked players here. And then what? I mean, I left there and went to Sherman. Average 30. Yep. <laughs> no offers. None. <laughs> then I walked on. And, uh, That's what you. Nobody knows I walked on and you. Nobody knows that. I know. I remember you told me about that. And I was walked on. As a walk-on? Yeah. Proving my It's an uphill battle all my life, so. It's not so I can endure the most pain. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people understand his work ethic. Like, <laughs> you got players that work hard. And then you got players that live and die by it. Because we was going seven days a week. We weren't going four days a week, five days a week. And we lift and shoot. Coach Hafer, and you know, he said that, like, we talked about it. He's like, if you, you know, we don't have a scholarship right now for you, but if you uh, get your schoolwork done, then you can walk on here. The biggest challenge for me was to get into like a Division One school, was to take, you know, get my AA. Um, and I had to take 75 credits one school year, because usually people would take, you know, two years to finish their AA. And um, it was, it was kind of crazy, like, how, how things work out. For people that like kind of like just work hard because the first game we played the season i played against stanford dejon davis you know is my cousin so i played against my cousin on a power stage at stanford and it's still kind of it's crazy to like think about back then to now because before then i was driving the games i was in the bands and taking ferries to games and now you know flying to palo alto to play a game against you know stanford 
Um, I just feel like having a big family, you know, uncles, cousins, you know, and just show how much love they showed me from like, you know, when everything happened, they didn't, you know, they always believed in me and we always believed in each other. We always in on one another. So when one of us was down, we all felt that. Like we never like feel some type of way because somebody's doing something. Like we always want to, you know, congratulations. Like we always show love to each other. And that's a unique, you know, is, is genuine from all of us. Like we still text, we still have a good message today. Man, one of my boys, so I mean, that's that's just how, you know, we, we rock, you know. Like, I have a little brother, Jazel Brown. He goes to Garfield. Uh, I got two little sisters, Ava and Lana. I like me and my parents' connections. It's, it's like, you know, I respect, like they're my parents, I respect them, but I can also be talk to them like a friend, like a best friend. So it's kind of cool to have that. Like, and I respect you, like, they're my parents. Like, I'm always gonna respect you, never disrespect you guys. But if I can talk to you like a, like a friend, like a best friend, then I think that helps the relationship grow more and mean more. So that's why I feel like me and my parents are. For him to put Seattle U on the map and to leave Seattle U to go to the University of Arizona, that speaks for itself. Like, you know, that's, that speaks for itself. And not many people could envision that or pull it off. As an upperclassman, you know, that means you you followed the marathon and the route. A lot of people have been gave up. Well, you never really know when you're prepared for something too until you get through it. So either it's gonna be a good ending or a bad ending, regardless. But as long as you give it your all, you, you can't be judging that. Cause then that's no regret. You better yourself never done that. You don't regret that. You know, I did it my way. I did it by myself. <laughs>